irrevocable will to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take your sacred heart for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, O most merciful heart, be my justification before God, your Father, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from your infinite goodness, annihilating me all that can displease or resist you, imprint in me your pure love so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon your heart, for in this I place all my happiness and all my glory to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. Amen. This concludes today's morning prayer. I'm glad you were able to tune in and pray with us today. I hope you'll be able to join us later on today when we do afternoon and then evening prayer. Before you log out today, before you leave this application, I'm going to ask one big favor of you. Click on the share button of your application. It takes one tiny second of your time. It's a very powerful way to reach out to people and minister to them, but it's a very time and cost effective way of doing so. For when you share this prayer with your social network contacts, your friends, your family, whether you do it through Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, you uh, text, email, Whichever way you do it, you might be reaching out to someone right now who is at the point of breaking or who is really feeling down or is going through a lot of difficulty in their lives. And receiving these prayers may give them that strength that they need in order to pull through. And continue moving forward in faith. Because sometimes people are going through difficult times in their lives. And they don't even say anything to anyone. They keep it to themselves for whatever reason. And no one knows that they're suffering. Except themselves and of course God. And these prayers are are such that they can help an individual understand. And come to the realization if they haven't done so yet. And if they have, it reaffirms them on that. The fact that Jesus Christ, oh Lord, loves them. Loves them more than anyone else on this earth. And that his love for them is unconditional. And that he is with them. For Jesus is with us. And so these prayers, sharing these prayers, give us an opportunity to share that love. Once they get the prayer, they have an option. They either say the prayer or they don't. But whatever happens in that encounter is between them and God. That's the best way to evangelize and to minister to people by making the encounter possible and then getting out of the way and letting God and the individual interact in their own way. So go ahead, click on that share button and um, pray that someone will be moved today by this prayer. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and remember we'll be doing afternoon prayer so hope you will be able to join us. Have a good one.